sisters welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome and if you've been here for a while I missed y'all this week we're doing better fam we are doing better today specifically and yesterday and just this week in general so much better than last week and I'm hoping I can continue to offer encouragement to other people during this season of struggle for me and this video is gonna be a quick look inside what my life is like right now I'm taking you back home with me for the evening for the weekend it's Friday TJIF feeling funky fresh and we're making it um, I've had so many people there for me this week hundreds of people reach out to me loving on me praying for me and that's what's all about community and just assuring people that we're in this together fam so I'm going to see my mom today I have not seen my mom since before Thanksgiving since before I went on my trip it's been almost a month, and if you're new here, my mom is my best friend. I talk to her every day. She's my favorite human being on this planet, and I need my mama. I know, a grown girl needs her mama still. So I'm gonna take you guys a peek into my life, um, just going back home, which is about an hour and 20 minutes away from my new home, so I am going to go see some people that I love and show you how I'm getting through this hard time so I'm gonna show you some tidbits I hope you guys like it if you do like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video with your girl again okay I'll see you guys soon the babies are gonna stay with Uncle Matt for the night Uncle Maddie over there you guys gonna have fun I know you I love you I love you so you're going to grandma's without me? Going to see my friends at Spark. Pretty! Come on in! <laughs> don't know aren't from Mayville or Carroll and understand the gloriousness of dope balls they are the answer to all your problems and the solution to all your needs right here little fried pieces of heaven dipped in cheese or pizza sauce <laughs> my little brother <laughs> Cheese. 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 Do you want to be on camera? Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Where'd you go? 
Watch out, watch out, shoes. Come here, your pizza. Come here, boo boo, sit right here. You want it? <laughs> That was a little tidbit of my um, past 48 hours, which was jam-packed with love and affection and just pure bliss, really, in a time that I needed the most. I had an unforgettable weekend with some of the most amazing people that I've been blessed with in my circle. Um, a lot of loving from little ones, which is the best thing ever when you are grieving. For those who don't know yet, um, Chris and I are no longer together, and um, we are living independently as of now and I have been dealing with that and navigating through that for the past few weeks um, just you know a complete life change and I think it's important when you are going through a hard time to know that you have people there who love you and support you and believe in you to get through the hard times uh, makes all the difference in the world and this past week I've truly felt more support from people in my life than I have ever felt in my entire life and that speaks volumes for the people that I've chosen to surround myself with. So I am leaning on who I need to to get through this. I have people checking in on me all the time um, and I have no animosity or bad feelings towards Chris. I do wish him the best. I will continue to pray um, for him and for good things in his life um, but we are no longer together and um, obviously not getting married. Um, so that is what is happening and you know I've been blessed with some of the best people in my life to kind of help mend my broken heart and help be there for me and you know help dig me up when I feel like sometimes it's such an easy, it's the easier option is to stay down because um, that's what we feel when we're hurting, right? So today I is Sunday and I was able to go to church with uh, a dear friend who I graduated with and we were talking about just how you know, I've been able to keep these connections with people and stay um, present in their lives, and it really is a blessing. I do believe that God has blessed me with the gift of um, that eagerness and that enthusiasm to be involved in my friends' and um, you know family's lives, and I love it, and I won't ever take that for granted. So we went to church, and I got to love on her three gorgeous little boys and I got to meet her in-laws and just felt so included and so loved and that's really just been the theme of the whole week is really just people have made me feel included and loved and thought about and not one minute um, of the past 72 hours even longer than that the past week have I felt like I was alone and I want you to know too that you are not alone whatever you're battling whatever you're going through whatever heartbreak you're feeling right now just know that um, it doesn't last forever and that you are so much stronger than you think um, and I'm so happy that I've been able to um, provide someone with maybe a little bit more hope than what they had um, going through a hard time. I did get a lot of um, comments um, privately about the poem on last week's video so I'm gonna go ahead and try to share more of my poetry um, whatever is applicable to the video that is 
upload of the week. So I'm going to end the video with this poem. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. It's a new week. It's a fresh start. It's another opportunity to thank God for our blessings and really just be present in our lives and try to be the best we can be um, regardless of our circumstances because I know this year especially we are all battling something. We're all going through something. We're all hurting in one way or another. Um, so don't forget to like this video if you did enjoy it and you want to see more of me and my little friends and my family and trips back home. And don't forget to, sit, to hit the subscribe button um, so you never miss a video with me again. Weekly encouragement is what I'm aiming to provide here on my channel. And this poem is written for you. Whoever needs it, take what you what need and leave the rest. This is called Unbreakable. The rain will come, your heart will break. So hang on to what you know when your earth begins to quake. Seasons of grief or trauma are tough, but they allow you to build upon you. The hard times never last but the tough people always do. Hold strong onto God's promises and never forget your worth. Stay true to you and your purpose that was paved for you before your birth. Allow yourself to feel the pain and damage, but never try to mask. Always remember you're unbreakable and flowers still blossom through cracks. I love you guys and I'll see you next week.